All right, uh, Shalom. Wanna give our praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakakodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the holy leg throughout the four winds, pushing the truth to sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Lord Yah from the Great Millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana camp, coming back again with another quick lesson. And as always, Lord will be able to find to the elect. All right, so I uh, just want to come. You know, man, they uh proclaiming this to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. You know, a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, uh, briefly touching upon of what, man, um, the, the poverty. All right, and ultimately our uh, nation seeking for a sign. All right, because when you had, um, a hey, when Yahweh Shai walked, you know, a hey, uh, what, man, uh, that the multitudes constantly uh seek Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and X. Uh, for a sign to know basically when when the last days would would, would uh, come, okay. But what man? Uh, many of those people they couldn't get it, all right. They couldn't get it and they didn't take heed, all right. Knowing that what man? Uh, that they wanted Yahweh Shah to, to firsthand, uh, to, to to just uh, uh show them these things, all right. Which he did, but they didn't understand it. Why? Because it was only given to few. All right, it was only given to a few men to see those signs. All right, and in this present uh time that we're in, all right, as we uh get closer to to getting up out of here, we're subject to um avoid actually being that sign. All right, we are the sign. Okay, Yahweh Shah was that sign. All right, you had uh what Jonah was that sign. All right, that warned people. Okay. We are that sign because Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has put that spirit upon us to warn the, the, the people and uh, basically what prophesied to them. All right, tell them what's to come. All right. And ultimately, man, uh, and, and this the the, the 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 sign that I want to go into and and this uh particular topic would be what the sign of who are the Israelites. All right. Because what we are that sign. All right, if you look at our conditions, okay, the way our people conduct themselves, all right. The uh the, the the living the living states of our people, all right. We we basically uh hey man it, it's evident that we are the the Israelites that the scriptures speak of, all right. So this is Matthew chapter twelve and verse thirty nine. It says, "But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seek it after a sign, and there shall no sign be given it." All right. Cause a lot of people are not gonna be uh what gonna be able to receive that sign. You see why they're adulterous generation, you know? Because they don't uh, follow the ways of Yahweh Bashim All right, they follow the ways of what America in 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 this present time period. Okay, they haven't uh came up out of this place. They haven't totally repented. All right, it says but the sign of the prophet Jonas. All right, and when when you go into the book of Jonah, Jonah prophesied against uh Nineveh. All right. For for a numerous amount of years, you see. But but what man? They they saw it uh, after after that same sign, you know, and and what he was telling them everything that that was gonna happen, okay. But what they didn't uh they didn't hearken to it, all right. But touching upon what did this current uh sign that our people look for, hey, Amen. We are those signs. All you have to do is, is look at our history as, as a nation. All right, coming over here into cargo uh, slave ships, Basalaki coming over here by way of uh, cargo slave ships. All these things are uh, documented by the scriptures. All right, and that's why the scriptures tell you. Uh, let me grab it real quick. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, and verse 15, it says, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right? So what? That that, that sign, all right, which would be the, the men of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, okay? We're, we're telling you and feeding you with, with true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, all right, to show you who you are uh, according to the scriptures. Because what, man? These pastors in these churches, they're not sent by Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, all right? To, to what? Wake up the elect. All right, they're set up to deceive on the left hand side. All right, he says, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which is the Lord's truths, what true ways. Okay, and they're gonna uh, basically what teach them to you, um, who you are as, as a people. All right, 
by way of what having the, uh, the, the understanding of the scriptures. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 45. It says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. All right. And that's what uh, these curses did when what we are uh, departed uh, from, from taking heed to uh, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, Till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes. Which he commanded thee. You see, so that just justifies that point. All right. It says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Okay. Until we would be, be delivered up out of here. Okay. But they're going to be upon thee, the sign. What, what is speaking of the, these curses? All these curses are right, that's uh, speaking about from what? Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down. Okay. All, all the way to 68. These curses identify exactly who the chosen people of Yahweh Shem Yahweh are. All right, let's go into this word sign. It says <laughs> a distinguishing mark. See, a set apart, it's set apart, a signal, a banner, a remembrance. All right, and that's why the scriptures tell you what the Lord is uh, basically putting us in in uh, remembrance. All right, stirring up our uh, well, a pure uh, heart, a pure mind. Okay, it says a miraculous sign. So what, man? These people are gonna stand out because what? Their their signs are these curses that has been put upon them. Is gonna make them stand out. All right, it's a token, an ensign. It's a one scripture. All right, and then for the men, uh. Let me see. It's a certain scripture. Yeah, kind. You see? All right, this is Philippians chapter 1. And, uh... Uh, 1 and 28, it says, And nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but unto you of salvation and that of the Most High. All right? Because though we suffer these things, having these curses put upon us, being at a, a lower state, all right, a to us is a token of salvation. All right? Because ultimately what? those Only those, the people that, that the, uh, the loss that you commanded was given to, was the people that's, that's worthy of salvation, all right? And uh, in this go-around, only the elect is going to be delivered, okay? But what it says, and then nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, all right? Hey, so don't be terrified, all right? Uh, don't, don't let these things and these conditions that uh have been uh, basically placed upon us weigh us down, all right? By, by having these heathens hate us, all right, and, and our adversaries come come after our necks, we understand that what we are those chosen people, all right. It's a token to us, all right. It's a token to us, a sign, all right, that shows us that what man, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, it, it is uh, our law given, okay, just like the scripture speaks about, okay. It says a, a warning, a, a token, an ensign, a standard, all right, a miracle, a proof, all right? And it's a miracle because, hey, let's, let's go into this word real quick. It's a miracle because what, man, Uh, if you look at the conditions of, of our people, if you look at the, uh, the, the conditions of our people, you wouldn't expect for uh, us to be the chosen nation, all right? You 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 would think the Lord really hates us, all right? And I'm going to grab this scripture too in, in the book of Malachi, all right? It says, a surprising and welcome event that is not explicable by natural or scientific laws and is therefore considered to be the work of a divine. You see, of a divine. This is the work of a divine. Y'all by Shem Shai is, man, so many precepts fall. Let me grab this one in, in Malachi real quick, I can See, 
see? Not four, it's in the first chapter. All right? Because what, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is using what the Lord always deals with the small remnant and ultimately with the lowly. All right? So the Lord is going to use us and have us totally on the bottom. All right? Totally on the bottom to where what? It's going to be known, okay, who his chosen people are. All right? He's going to bring us out of what? That, that, that uh, dunghill state of place, okay? Uh, this is Malachi 1 and 1. It says, the burden of the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to Israel by Malachi. You see, to Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. It says, I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, where and thou hast loved us? And why is our people saying this? For the simple fact that what, we're low, all right? Jake loves to be, uh, what, man, having the best of the best. It's just in our nature. Why? Because we're set up to be kings and priests, all right? And, and daughters of Zion, okay? That's why. And you see, hey man, our people still say this today. Well, if the Lord loved us, why do uh we we uh why why are we we at the lowest uh uh, 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 uh in the world? You see? You even had Ezra. Ezra say, man, Lord, if the world hey, if the world's created for our sake, shit, why are we why are we right here at the bottom? You see? But it all stemmed from us going totally against your how by Shimei Shai. It says, was not Esau as Jacob's brother, said the Lord. Yet I love Jacob. So the Lord, love hasn't uh, stopped from us, okay? We just have to go, uh, had that fall, okay? We just had to have that fall that was going to lead us to, to what? Coming back and, and peering up out, stirring up our pure minds again, all right? So that was it on Jeremiah. This is Romans 8 and 16. It says, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we... Are the children of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai? All right, and what's the spirit? When you go to John sixteen uh, sixty three, okay, the words that the Lord speaking to us, okay, they are words that they, they, they are what spirit, they are life, okay. Let me grab that real quick. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a miracle, you know, to to uh, to to see that these curses are assigned to us. All right, it is a what a distinction. It makes a distinction between us and all the other nations. Okay, it says John six and sixty three. It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, so all these curses that have been uh proclaimed and, and uh spoken into existence and, and are now being played out upon uh, our nation. All right, they they are the sign. All right, it's showing you. All right, this is uh, what will bear witness. All right, how our uh, uh, people uh, uh, walk, how we talk, you know, how we dress. All right, the, the foods we eat. All right, these are all things that identify us who the chosen people are. Okay, and there's no way that, that you can go uh, around about it. All right, one example uh, the living conditions. Okay, the, the, the man, the, the, the surroundings that we've been put in. Even in the scriptures, it, it tells you what, man, the, the Jews uh, basically dwell in the ghettos, okay? No matter where you at, all right? No matter where you at. Yeah, you're going to have some Jakes, all right, that uh, doesn't live in, in these areas, all right, in, in, in poverty-stricken areas. But for the most part, these are where you're going to find our people at, all right? It is it, nowhere around it. These are what? The, the lowly, all right? Those that have no one to uh, de deliver them or save them, you see? But what? Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to come and do that, okay? Deliver the elect because only the elect is going to turn and repent, all right? And, and what, man? Walk on that straight and narrow path, okay? So Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9, it says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. All right, Amalek, the ones that's in our nation. I'm still like in our land. Okay. Which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. All right. And I want to get that word of uh, poverty in this. Okay. See, it says uh, beggary. All right. The condition of one destitute of riches and abundance. 
All right, we're destitute to uh, riches and abundance. It's going to his word destitute. It says what? Without the basic uh, necessities of life. You see, impoverished, poverty stricken, poor. All right, not having. Our people, hey amen, our people don't have shit, you see, at all. You know, that's why they go down to Egypt for help. <laughs> you know, that's why they go down to Egypt for help. And and what, man, that's ultimately a trap for our nation, okay? But what, man, it all stems from us being the, the, the prof, you see, bankrupt, <laughs> empty, drained, exhausted. You see, and that's why the scriptures tell you what, man, or uh, uh, come out of her. You know, to basically uh, stop following the ways uh, of America, all right? Because what, she's going to uh, destroy you with the sword destruction, all right? It's also in the uh, in, in uh, the curses that what, you're not going to find no rest, all right? Therefore, our people are drained because you have to work and work and work and constantly pay bills, all right? Always in warning, all right? This is the state of our people. It says uh one one definition that stood out prior to this, I think it was uh lost not yeah, beggary. You know, beggary basically uh because what our people our people's in a state of loss, all right? And that's what we hope for. You know, that's why we hope to to, to be saved, all right? This is Matthew twenty four and thirteen. It says, But he that shall endure unto the end. The same shall be saved. All right. No other nation uh should, should be looking forward to the day of the Lord. Why? Because it, it, it isn't any anything uh uh beautiful unto them. All right. We know what that day is gonna bring forth. Okay. This is the word for what? For saved. It says to save, to make whole, all right, to heal, to be whole, to save, to keep safe and sound, to rescue from danger. Or destruction, all right. And the Lord is coming to uh de de destroy this place, all right. With uh, famines, uh, plagues, pestilence, by way of what His sword, all right, by the chariots or thermonuclear missiles, all right, to save a suffering one from perishing. Who's the only one suffering in this in, in this place, all right? Which will be the, our nation, all right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. Yeah, you have uh heathens that suffer, all right. You have heathens that suffer, but guess what? They're not of their chosen nation, all right? That's just what uh, their own nation being greedy, all right? It says to preserve one who is in danger of destruction to save or rescue. And the Lord is, has, man, Yahweh Shemesh has always uh, came and delivered his nation, okay? It says to deliver from the penalties of the uh, Messianic judge. All right, my son, Salaki, uh, can you say this word? Messianic uh, judgment, okay, to save from the evils which obstruct and reception of the Messianic deliverance, okay? So only the nation of, of uh, Israel are uh, uh, worthy of that, which, once again, only the elect, okay? Only the elect. This is why our, uh, you know, we, we pray to how about Shem Yashai, okay? Because, well, man, we're in a, a state of loss, all right? That's what we have to be um, uh, saved for, all right? No other nation has anything to look uh, forward to being saved for if they have everything, all right? It says to keep safe or rescue something from harm or danger, okay? Harm or danger, to, to bail out, you see? Because what, man, right now we're, we're uh, prisoners, okay? We're prisoners of hope, <laughs> like the scriptures say. We're prisoners of hope, all right? To conserve, to keep, to uh, protect, to safeguard, to salvage, retrieve, re reclaim. Yahweh Shemeshah is going to reclaim what hit his nation again, all right? That's why he said, what, I will uh, go to a place and turn my back until they acknowledge their faults before me. You see, to retrieve, recover, all right? Something previously lost, given or paid, obtained the return of, 
All right, and we're gonna be brought back to what our natural state. All right, this is First Samuel chapter six and verse two. It says, "For Yahweh shall kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up." This is what our uh, uh, restoration process. All right, of us being reconciled, being brought back into that fold. It says, "The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it lower and lift it up." He raised it up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. All right. And it, when we went to poverty, it told you that what? Uh, we were the, the, the beggar. You see, beggary. All right. We were uh, the ones without. Okay. It says to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are Yahweh Shemal Shah's and he that has set the world upon them. All right. He will keep the feet of his saints, meaning what? He will preserve them. All right, though we be lowly, all right, though we be meek, you know, though we uh, are without, you know, sometimes it says, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. All right, so Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to keep us what firm and on that straight and narrow path. All right, the Lord is going to uh, continuously protect us through each uh, individual, you know, uh, situation. All right, that we're brought in. All right. So, hey, man, these are the, the, the signs that have been placed upon our people to identify exactly who we are. All right. All we have to do is go back to the curses and what? Hey, man, uh, every man that, that they will have an ear, you know, to understand and uh, the, the eyes to see. Hey, man, all you got to do is, is look at the living states of our people. All right. And that's going to identify and tell everything. All right. So with that, man, Lord willing, this uh, quick lesson was edifying. I want to give our praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekakadash. That belongs to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Ruel. And much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence. Till next time, shalom.